This channel and all its videos are non-profit and for the sole objectives of educational and teaching purposes only. We hope everyone enjoy and learn from them. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and video. Teacher Lim here. Now, um, I really want to do this video. Uh, I've been teaching primary three, uh, the primary three levels, uh, especially science, for quite a few years now, quite a few times. So um, this has always been a, a, a problem or an AFI, an area for improvement. So uh, students don't seem to be able to understand the difference between plants and mushrooms. So I dedicate this video uh, mostly to primary three students. But of course, uh, if you are primary four, five, six or higher level, or even if you are a adult or, or a parent or a fellow teacher, uh, of course, I, I welcome you to take a look at my video. So the topic here is definitely science. It's on the uh, mushroom and plants are found in the uh, bigger topic of diversity uh, under different types of living things. Uh, of course, uh, specifically under plants and mushrooms. Now, before I continue with this video, right, I would like to give definitely credits to Google Images and... Uh, I found some uh, information on Wikipedia as well and of course uh, NTUC Fair Price Supermarket because I took a video uh, of the different types of uh, mushrooms that we eat of course that can be found in a supermarket uh, to make it clearer for everyone to understand the difference between plants and, and mushrooms or fungi for that matter and uh, there were plenty of plants there as well. Of course, plants in the form of vegetables, fruits, um, for a clearer understanding for everyone. So, uh, I hope you enjoy the video first uh, of the mushrooms and the vegetables or plants. Of course, fungi found in the supermarket. So, enjoy this video I took at... Um, NTUC Fair Price Supermarket. Now, I hope everyone enjoyed that uh, short uh, video I took at the supermarket. So now, uh, let's go straight to the definition of uh, fungus or fungi. Now, fungus is a singular term. Fungi is plural. So this is just one fungus, many fungi. So a fungus is any member uh, of the group of eukaryotic organisms that includes 
microorganisms such as yeast and molds, as well as the more familiar mushrooms. These organisms are classified as a kingdom or as a large group, fungi which is separate from the other eukaryotic life kingdoms of plants and animals. So this definition I got from Wikipedia. Now, so uh, specifically for primary three students, so this is basically to let everyone know that uh, mushrooms or fungi or fungus, they are very much different from plants and animals which you will uh, or you have learnt uh, in primary three science under the topic of diversity, uh, diversity of course of living things uh, in this world. Now, these are some uh, images I pulled off from Google, of course, uh, of fungi, specifically mushrooms, so you can take a look at them. So here are more pictures or images. So take note, right, whatever you are looking at, uh, especially children or, or students, these are mushrooms, alright, these are fungi, mushrooms not to be confused or misunderstood with uh, plants or, or vegetables or fruits for that matter, which most of you tend to get confused with. So these are mushrooms, fungi. So uh, fungi is the big group. Mushrooms is a type of fungi. So now uh, let's go back. Let's, let's go now to plants. What is a plant? So at the primary tree level, you just need to know mainly that a plant uh, is a living thing that has leaves to make its own food. So it needs sunlight, carbon dioxide and water to make its own food. Or making its own food a, a, a more difficult or term you will learn later on is photosynthesis or photosynthesis, making its own food. Now, uh, for plants, right, they usually reproduce or they mostly reproduce by flowers, fruit, seeds, or spores. Now, other common parts of the plant include the roots, stem, flowers, and fruits. So, um, they are very different from uh, fungi or mushroom uh, in this instance or in this example. So, these are some uh, pictures of plants. So, you can see here, this is obviously a banana plant. Um, this is the banana fruit, the leaves... Okay, this is the stem. Alright, now these are more examples of plants you can see uh, over here. Now, I purposely want to show you black and white pictures or images because many of you tend to, to confuse or misunderstand uh, between plants and mushrooms, especially during the tests and exams when the papers are printed in black and white. So, uh, hence, that's why I wanted to show you black and white images instead of colored ones. So you can see here flowers, leaves, leaves, so on and so forth. Now I want to bring your attention more to this. This is a cactus. A cactus is definitely a plant because um, this is the roots. Sorry, this is the stem. The stem, pardon me. This is the stem. The roots are, are, are underneath uh, or, or in the vase. Sorry, or, or in the pot that you cannot see. So this needle or pin-like uh, structures or parts are, are, are leaves because uh, I think... Uh, you may not know this, but uh, as teachers or adults, mostly we know cactuses uh, are usually found in the deserts. So uh, a thick, fat, huge stem uh, is to allow it to store more water. And the small, tiny, pin needle-like leaves is to prevent it from losing water because usually in the desert, it's very hot and water is lost quickly. So that is a cactus. It is a plant. So these are more examples or more images of uh, plants. So this is another cactus here. So this is uh, obviously the tomato plant. This is the tomato fruit. Alright, these are the leaves. This is the stem. So now, the, this is a picture of another uh, plant. Now, I want to bring your attention more to this picture. So you can see here, Plants uh, usually they grow from seeds or some of them from spores and this is how they grow. Right, the more and more leaves develop for them to capture sunlight, of course, uh, in the presence of carbon dioxide and water as well to allow them to make food. So you can see the roots are here. Right, the roots, these are the stems, stems. 
So uh, the seed leaves can be seen as well here, here. So before, I think it's quite a well-known fact in case you don't know children or students, uh, seed leaves provide um, the, the, the young plant with food first before the leaves develop and the plant is able to make its own food with these leaves. Alright, now this is a uh, mushroom. So these are the parts of the mushroom, mainly the cap, the gills, this is the stem or we call it the stalk. So for plants, right, we do not call it a stalk, we call it a stem, but in mushrooms, we can call it a stalk. So uh, I'm putting these two side by side. So you can see here, a plant is very different. So it has uh, flowers, leaves, fruit. This is called a stem, it's not exactly a stalk. So these are the roots. So these are side by side, so you can see the difference there. So the plants have uh, many more different parts to it. Alright, so this is the shoot system, this is the root system. Now, so this is called the mycelium, this is more of the vegetative part of the mushroom. Now, if you are confused or a bit overwhelmed with information, children, especially primary three students, you don't really need to uh, bother with this yet. It's just extra information for you. So you can see here, a uh, mushroom and a plant is really different if you put them side by side. Now, um, plants, right, specifically ferns, they reproduce from spores. See, okay, so uh, take note that I mentioned previously, plants can reproduce from seeds, fruits. So the seeds usually come from, or the seeds come from fruits or the flowers. Um, or they reproduce from spores, but only specifically ferns reproduce from spores. Now, for fungi or mushrooms specifically, they only reproduce from spores. So you can see here, the spores are found in spore bags, usually under the leaves of the plant or the fern, but the spores are found in the gills, under the cap of the mushroom. So this is another difference here, children. So um, now, as I mentioned previously just now, so usually in the exams or in the test, pictures are in black and white. So uh, I just want to put some more pictures, uh, black and white images of mushrooms and plants side by side so you can see the difference. So even though these look somewhat like plants, but they are not, look, they are caps here, the caps of the mushroom, individual caps, caps, caps. Right, so each one is a mushroom by itself. It's an individual mushroom. Right, it just it's just that they they they, they grow close together. Whereas over here, right, is is different. So these are plants. So they have a stem here, specifically with the leaves, the flowers. So I hope uh, with all these pictures or images, children or students you become clearer the difference between mushrooms and plants and, and don't get confused or misunderstand between these two. They may look like plants, but these are actually mushrooms. Look at the cap there, the shape of the cap. Alright, so let me summarize or recap everything uh, once more. So fungi mushrooms, they do not have leaves to make their own food. So they have a stem or we call it a stalk. They reproduce only by spores. Spores are found under the cap of the mushroom. So the cap is shaped like an umbrella, unlike leaves. So water drips and flows away fast. So the, the cap prevents water from accumulating on the mushroom. So you get heavier to prevent it from getting heavier and, and damage or, or kill the mushroom. So for plants, they have green leaves to make their own food. So they have stem. Now, uh, maybe before I move on to the next point, take note that I know uh, many of you would be thinking at this point in time, some of the leaves, right, they, they are actually, they, they look orange or red or pink in color. But uh, if you look closely at leaves, right, they are green, no matter what, there are green parts to it. It is the green parts uh, that allow the leaves to make food. And of course, if the leaves are brown or, or black, they are most likely dying or, or dead leaves. 
All right, so as mentioned previously, plants reproduce through seeds uh, from, the fruits, from the flowers and fruits, and they also reproduce from spores. That's a characteristic of plants. And the spores are usually found under the leaves of the plants, or speci specifically ferns, a species of plants that reproduce from spores. And now, uh, leaves are usually large uh, in surface area, and the leaves are usually waxy and smooth to remove the excess water. So you can see here the water will drip off. So these are the different shapes of uh, the caps of mushrooms that I found. Convex shape, bell shape, conical shape, knob shape, flat shape, sunken shape. So usually, right, they are in this shape like an umbrella so that the water, will, excess water will drip off. So take note children, this is a very important clue or characteristic of mushrooms. A cap, so you don't confuse it with the leaves of the plant. So children, uh, I've come to the end of uh, this presentation. I hope uh, you have a clearer picture now of what is a plant and what is a mushroom. So maybe let me go back quickly. Uh, I think I want to mention this from this slide. So take note that uh, examples of fungi, not just mushrooms, yeast and molds are also considered as fungi. Alright, so the mushrooms and fungus or fungi, they are different from the plants and animals which you will be learning or which you have learnt so far. Okay, now children, uh, two more important points before I actually end off this video. Now the first one is, uh, of course, actually how could I um, actually forget? Now you must remember that plants are the only living things in this world that are able to make their own food. So it's because uh, of this characteristic of plants, that's why many animals or even including humans are able to be alive and get food uh, from plants in the form of uh, vegetables, fruits, the stem, the, the roots, we eat the roots of plants. So I mean definitely you will learn more about this in the food chain and food web. So you must, everyone must remember that another very important difference between plants and mushroom is that plants make their own food through their leaves and Mushrooms do not make their own food and of course they get the food from the things that they grow on like um, other trees directly from the ground or from dead logs which they grow on so uh, the second important point I want to uh, end off this video with is that that's why right leaves right they are usually uh, quite big uh, large in surface area uh, that's the purpose of the, the the, the leaves to capture as much sunlight as possible so I think as I mentioned earlier in this video that's why uh, plant leaves they are usually waxy or smooth so that the water or the rain water can uh, flow off or, or drip off from the leaves easily so it will not accumulate on the leaves and, and kill the leaves or destroy the leaves or even damage the plant that's why uh, besides having waxy or smooth surfaces Leaves also have things like drip tips as shown in this picture in this slide here, the drip tips here to allow rainwater to drip off quickly and easily. Alright everyone, I have come to the end of my video. I hope everyone learned something. Thank you all so much for watching. See you all in my next video and may the fire of passion in teaching and learning be ever burning in everyone. Goodbye and take care.